afternoon everyone I hope you're well thank you for joining me in the studio today it's quite a nice afternoon isn't it I hope you're all well it's lovely to see you all my name is Tony Derrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft and I love anything to do with card making so stamping die cutting painting colour just love it so hi Tina Joe Sylvia Rio Tracy Dorothy Shirley Pat Pepper hi girls I hope you're all well um, did you enjoy the Christmas show? It went well, didn't it? Thank you so much. Did you end up on the naughty step? Or were you um, good till next week? <laughs> so, uh, Tom, yes, Elizabeth, Tom is at school. Loving school, bless him. Um, so if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little HD button that will give you a better viewing experience. And the little bell um, gives you notifications when we're actually live. So if you do want not to want to miss a show, you need to click that little bell on there. And on Facebook, we post our lovely makes from studio and I do try and pick a winner and send something out to a lucky winner, if you comment, that is. So in today's studio, we are going to be playing with the lovely Craft Academy stamp. So we played with this once already. We've got two more sessions using this one. So if you are crafting along, we are using this fabulous stamp here. So it's a lovely um, tulip and the daisy one. So you can see there, and I think this is week, I think this might be week seven, I'm not sure. I'm sort of like losing track of the days. So you can see there, you've got your super large images on there. So in last studio, we worked on the tulip, and in this studio, we're going to work on the lovely gerberas or daisies, call them what you wish, but... Um, there, that's the one that we're going to work on. If you haven't got the Craft Academy stamp but still would like to craft along, you can use the stuff that's already in your stash. Um, we do try and inspire each other and you can pop your makes on our Eureka fan page and see what's going on on there and it's lovely to see your work. Next week's stamp is this one. Some of you have already got it, ready to go. So it's the lovely hands with the heart, very, very different, but the purpose of Craft Academy is to get you to step out of that box and try something new. And this is going to be one of those stamps that does that for you. So that's the following one. And then all of the other ones, which we've done, we've only got a handful left of each now. Um, you can go back and revisit those. They are on FBL on www.stampsbyme.co.uk. And you'll be able to see all the ones that we've worked on. And the great thing about studio is it's always on YouTube. So you get the tuition anytime, any day, pause, rewind, fast forward, mute, do whatever you wish. It's always there for you. So let's have a look. Is it week eight? Oh, somebody help me out. I know a lot of you have been buying them and they are limited edition when they're gone, they're gone. Um, and every stamp that we sell, a pound goes to our local food bank. So at the end of week, 12 did we say there's 12 or 10 i can't remember now at the end of it we will be donating some money to our local food bank and i'm going to see if i can get us a lovely certificate something to be super proud of to pop in the entrance of our building to show that we are trying to support other people which we do encourage and love to do or at least try to do enid 12 weeks thank you very much thank you tracy so we are going to craft with the lovely Craft Academy. Just a few things to tell you about them. We have another Christmas launch on Tuesday over on Create and Craft. Ours to be confirmed. But um, in that show, it is just stamps. And I will try and do a Facebook Live for you at some point showing you the lovely stamps. I know the design team have um, been pulling all of your legs, haven't they? And been saying, we've seen the stamps. Did, 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 did. So don't let them pull your legs. I will do a Facebook Live for you all and show you what's going on because I know you're all super excited about it because Christmas is fabulous, isn't it? You can never have too many Christmas stamps, but I'll be glad when I don't have to design Christmas. It's very, very difficult to design Christmas in January and February for June. So I'll be glad when it's over, but I do thoroughly love Christmas and I love that time of the year. So let's have a look. Any, qu any questions you can ask away. Um, and thank you for coming from the garden if you have been out in the garden and I hope every single one of you are fit and well and the lockdown is easing a little whether it be you can now walk to the shop or sit in the garden or you know see a loved one at the gate I hope it's helping the little ease on the lockdown but we'll see but if not we're still here every day well every day if I'm not on TV with something whether it be Craft Academy or a chat or anything we'll, we'll find something to do so, um, 
Yeah, that's another, that's a, just getting a lovely no, another message there. Not in my ear, because I, I was just an itch. Just on the message down here from Tim, keep sending your lovely cards. We've had some lovely cards this morning, and me and Tim have been reading them. Tim was in tears. He's a big softy. I swear he's a big softy. And he was in tears reading two of them. So you can imagine what that studio is going to be like when I'm reading those cards. It's going to be epic, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, we've, we've had a lot already. We're getting a box already. So keep them coming, keep them coming. And um, we'll spend a special session on those lovely handmade cards. So if you want to say anything, give a message to anybody, um, show us a card you've made which you're proud of, or anything you want, just pop it on the card and we'll talk about it in studio. And I'll try and put some lovely samples around too. So if you are, I can't wait for that studio. Get your, you'll have to get your tissues ready, I'm telling you, it'd be a nightmare. <laughs> So let's craft, let's craft. So if you are crafting along, I have this lovely white just top folding note card and I will tell you the size roughly. So if you are crafting along, this one is, so I've changed my mat around, that's not helping. Let's just swap that up there. Cup of coffee there, absolutely red hot, which is nice. It's not cold like normal. So this is eight inch tall, eight inch tall. That's a tall one today, eight inch tall and five inch wide. So eight by five. And normally, as you all know, we use top folding like that, but today we're going to do um, landscape to chop it up a little bit. So, where did I get my jumper? Oh, that's a good question. I got it online. I will find, I'll try and find it and whoever's asking, who is asking? I don't know who's asking. I will try and find it. I can't remember. It was online, but I won't. And Welsh leave it with me I will find out for you is very inexpensive as well so right and you also need a piece of acetate so I know you've probably all got a little bit of acetate in your stash it doesn't have to be heat resistant just the normal it doesn't have to be heavyweight either but this piece of acetate is the same piece uh, same size as the front of this card so this card is eight by five and the piece of acetate is exactly the same eight by five can we see that there I don't know if the card's showing, it's a bit, you can't really see, but it's exactly the same size, eight by five on there, okay? So, let's grab our Eureka. So you're gonna need some coloured ink pads of your choice, any colours, bright, I'm gonna do a rainbow card today. You're gonna need some white embossing, a sticky ink pad, and some blending brushes. Let's not talk about the blending brushes, hey? I'm only joking. Hopefully everybody's got theirs or I've spoken to them and we've sorted problems so hopefully it's all sorted. If again, if that is anybody still waiting for a response then I may have missed it. Please message me again over on Facebook. I've dealt with some more this morning. Uh, it's not a problem to ring you so if you want to pop your number on there I will give you a call and I will sort it out for you. So please do message me if you're still having problems or missing bits or you've got a query about something. You can have smooth or rough acetate, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna stabilize our card and you'll see what I mean when we come to put the card together. It doesn't have to be heavyweight either, not really heavyweight anyway. So use what you've got in your stash. So you can use either side as well. So I'm gonna pop this card into my Eureka here, look, and I'm doing it landscape today. So let's just pop that in there for you. And I'm just gonna hold my card in place with that magnet. I don't really need two magnets. I don't even know why I've got two magnets. So let's just grab our stamp. So I'm gonna use a large daisy today. I'm just gonna pop this daisy over this side here. In fact, I might push him up. Let's just move my artwork over slightly. Now I haven't made a card like this. It's an idea I've got in my head. So if it doesn't work, it'll go in the bin. <laughs> So, I'm just going to push it over there, maybe just lose the third head slightly. Okay, so let's pop that on there, hold it in place, and let's pick that stamp up. Just see if there's a, just make sure. Yep, I think you're all probably, I've spoken to a lot of you and you're all waiting and that's brilliant, so... But if anybody's not got any idea what's going on and would like to know, then just message me. So because we're using our heat embossing, I'm just going to anti-static the end of this card here. 
like so and I'm using a um, sticky ink pad so if you wanted any of the products that I'm using in show just pop FBL into our website in the search engine and it'll show you all the products that we've used new launches etc etc but if you haven't got this sticky ink pad you can use alternatives if you've got your VersaFine they work and things like that so use what you've got in your stash and don't change to something I'm using if what you have at home already works because that's just crazy so let's um, stick let's push this down give it a good old push down and I'm going to do it twice just in case I've missed any of that detail oh, Carol I think did I not say to Carol I'd get send her a cake Carol did I say I'd send you one I think I did didn't I, and I haven't Carol is that right let me know sweetheart because I think I've got a message and I said I'd send you one didn't I Tim, will you just make a note of Carol Clark, please, on one of your fabulous sticky notes so I can sort it after show. Carol, I'll sort it, sweetheart, after show. Just remind myself. So there we have the heat, the sticky ink pad there. So you can't see much at the moment. And I'm just going to throw some white embossing on here. I don't know if you can just see that there. There we go, you can see it there. May, May Hume, I think I will speak to you after show, darling. I think that I've tried to ring you, maybe, I'm not sure. Can you pop May Hume on the list too, please? <laughs> there we go, because you can see that there. So I'll just hold it up to the front because it might be a little bit easier. Can't really see it. You will see it in a second. So that's that one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this um, embossing twice on this fr on the front of this card. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set this one first so I don't touch it or paw print it. So always get your gun hot, hot as possible. Have a drink of my coffee. <laughs> So it's hot now, so I'll be able to just... I don't think you'll still be able to see it even when it's changed colour. It's not until we add our colour then you'll be able to see, but let's go for it. So... make sure it's all heat set and then there we go so I'll not try and show you on camera because it's really difficult to see let's move on to the next part so I'm just going to move my card across here I'm going to hold it in place with a magnet and what I'm going to do this time my anti-static bag is I'm just going to anti-static this side so in, a, in effect we're just doing two heat embossed images one down this side and one down this side okay then I'm just going to grab my stamp and I'm just going to pop it on this side this time. Maybe we should go a little bit further in on this one. There we go. Like so. And then we'll pick this one up. And I'm just going to anti-static again, just in case, because I do like my images to be neat, albeit it doesn't work every single time. And then sticky ink pad again. Yeah, Heather, I've had, you've got my message, sweetheart. I have sent it. I sent it again, so you should have it any day. Yep, I sent it as soon as we spoke about it, darling. I sent it, so fingers crossed it'll come. So I'm just pushing this one down too. You're very welcome, sweetheart. I'll push these ones down too and hopefully get a lovely, lovely crisp image. But again, I always do it twice. Always, always. And then you know you've got that lovely detail. So 
just move my magnet here, catch some A lovely image on there. Just put this embossing powder back. And then we'll heat set this one. It depends, Leslie, which stamp you ordered. It was only the ones which were in the FBL. The other ones that were not in FBL, and didn't, I didn't honour the dies. And the reason I didn't honour the dies is because I didn't have enough. But if it was one that you ordered out of the FBL, then you should have got the die. And if you didn't, then you need to let me know. But if it's not in FBL, it didn't come with the die. So the embossing powder I'm using is Claire's. It's a thirsty brush one. It's available on the website. Um, I have got some great news, actually. I've spoken to Claire this morning we're always on the phone to each other we always um, like to talk talk for England when we get going and she's got some exciting things coming too and she's going to be doing a lot of you apparently whether this is right because I don't know because obviously this is my company and that's Claire's but um, you've all been asking for the bigger pots so she's doing a little bit of research into whether she can get the bigger pots for you all because if you're anything and I said oh that's a great idea because I'm running low the small pots are just not big enough I need a big pot like this big because um, they are really amazing and it is true if you find something you love once you love it you don't change do you just stick to what works so let's get rid of that lovely daisy stamp on there so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to close my door my Eureka and I am going to work on my Eureka because I don't want to get my mat, <laughs> my mat mucky how bad's that that's what your mats are for isn't it to get mucky but I don't like to get mucky so I'm just grabbing some tissue here just going to give my cat front of card a brush down because it's already quite pretty you won't see it on camera though because it's white on white so let's add some rainbow color to this card and you're probably thinking tony where on earth is this card going well to be honest with you it's just a vision in my head i'm not quite sure myself yet so we'll see how it goes hey so i'm going to use abandoned coral let's go carved pumpkin uh, mustard seed, what's this one, twisted citron, this is my rainbow today, but you obviously can do tones of pinks, purples, blues, whatever you want, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this card to life, just grab some scrap paper for my brush, for my changing of my colours, and let's start at the top with this abandoned coral, just make sure my brush is clean. Still got a bit of red on there, look. So anyway, so I'm going to pick up some of this lovely colour here. Oops. And what I'm going to do is I'm not I'm not covering the whole card because we don't need to do that, and you'll see why when I come to make the card. But um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little bit of a rainbow effect. So I'm just popping a little bit of red, but I am making sure that the whole of the flower is covered in colour. Okay, so let's get the top of this flower here. And this is just a great resist technique. So if you've never seen this technique before, it's just basically the embossing powder resisting any ink that you pop on top. And these cards just in themselves look beautiful. But today we're just going to chop it up a little bit uh, and just do something a little bit different. But the resist technique is a great technique anyway. So I'll get lots of colour on there. So I've just done that piece red there. Can we see? So you can see the top of the flowers peeking through. So let's just clean that brush. Pop that one away onto our next colour. I'm going to get some nice orange. So I'm just covering the flower heads, okay? I don't need to go any further and you'll see why in a second. And don't worry too much if the colour changes your embossing powder because we can just brush it back and it'll come back to a lovely white. So there's orange. So I'm just 
just taking colour right to that edge. And the last one is the green one. So there you can see we've got like a lovely rainbowy type effect. So you can see there, can we see that there? So quite pretty in itself and that would make a beautiful card if you continued the theme across the whole of the front of the card. Oh, I'm pleased you like your brushes everyone. Have you noticed anybody else doing brushes like these? didn't take long did it <laughs> never mind so let's do the other side and I'm going to keep it um, in in theme so I'm going to do exactly the same down this side as we have with this I don't really want it to be hectic with color so let's just start at the top again Obviously you can do it in layers and then you can go back in and build it up and really make it bright and bold and beautiful. You could add your, add your splatters, you know, flicking with the water. You've done lots and lots of techniques over the course of Craft Academy which you can interchange with all of probably the stamps that we've been working with. So let's move on to orange. <laughs> orange <laughs> yeah I I mean it's not I, well, I don't know I don't think it's people um, pinching ideas per se I just think people are always wanting to improve and when they see that something works that it's then that people replicate or redo or change. And then the green, just make sure we've got a nice pure green if we can, just make sure we've got none of that yellow in there, try and get rid of all that yellow. There we go, we've got a nice green now. We'll just pick up the colour from the bottom of those stems and then we're good to move on to our next technique. So if you are crafting along, hopefully you've got both your flowers covered in some beautiful colours of your choice. So here we go, so this is what the card is looking like so far. So, <laughs> it's not looking very fancy at the moment, but it will do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna make sure my hands are absolutely clean on my jeans. I'm gonna have tissue. I am getting more brushes, they land on the 12th, which is Three days. And it's the biggest stock ever. So we'll always have them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my Eureka out of the way, pop it on top of there for now. Just going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to open my card out flat and I'm just going to cut one edge off there. Can we see that there? So I've just cut it in half. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently fussy cut around this part of my image so I'm creating myself a little bit of a aperture on there now again because we've taken that blending way past our image if your fussy cutting's not the best it's okay so I'm just going into there 
Remember, if you've got a little bit of moisture in your hands, it may activate the colour as well. So just be mindful of that too. If you've got sweaty palms, <laughs> um, just be mindful you might activate the colour and end up with an, a, a paw print. So just, just bear that in mind. So I'm just cutting around this daisy here. Trying to do it as nice as I possibly can, because as you all know, I'm not the best at fussy cutting. But I'm moving the card as well as my scissors just to help me out a little bit here. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in vision, hold my hands out as well, sorry. I bet you're all sat at home now thinking, I'm not cutting it in half until I see what she's doing with it. I actually like it. <laughs> There's no way I'm cutting this in half until I see what she's doing with it. If you're anything like me, that's what you'll be doing. You'll be sat there thinking, I just want to see what she's going to do first before I cut my artwork in half. <laughs> so there we have like a pretty, can we see that there? So you can see you've got a little bit of colour on here too. So if you just take your tissue and give it a good old scrub, can we see how we bring out that, back that lovely white? See there, so I've got a beautiful now gorgeous white flower. Can we see that there? So I'm just going to set that one aside and I'm going to bring in this one and I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So I'm just going to start at the top, take it down and in, and again, just be mindful of your hands. I'm sorry while I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm quiet while I'm, it's the only time you'll get me to probably be quiet when I'm cutting because I hold my breath as well which is weird. <laughs> it's important that when you do your ink blending you take it way past your image and then you'll not end up with the awful harsh line if you're not the best fussy cutter. So make sure you take that colour way beyond your image and it'll just give you a really nice effect. Thankfully, we've only got to cut down one side, thankfully. And then what we'll do again is with this one, we will polish it up so it looks quite pretty. So we've got our like ed end of our card there. Can we see that there? There we go. So let's just polish this one up and make it bright white like our other one. It's super cool how it comes back to life when you give it that, that lovely brush. There we go. Look how nice and white that one is there. Nice and white. Very pretty. So what we're going to do now is bring our card back in and what you'll see, I'll just shot, put you in shot there, so what can we see here we've got this like aperture there and what we're going to do is we're going to have the acetate she says, connect the two oh, without my long hair in there, I know it's dropping out but Crikey. <laughs> so you can see when you put your acetate in there and that on there, we glue this one down, you have like a floating window. Can we see that there? There we go. So let's go ahead and do it. If you find that when you put your acetate in, it's not very substantial, maybe t stick two together and make it as sturdy. But I find one is actually okay because we've got the flat edges on the bottom of our card. It's, at, it's, it's substantial enough to, you know, go for it. The music sheet stamps back. Um, I think we're going to be creating some more. So um, I'll have to speak to Tim about that. He was thinking about recommissioning them, and if they are, they're normally about six weeks. So we are, we are on that one. So let's go ahead and adhere this down. Now I'm just going to grab a tape pen. Sorry, I'm just going to have to lean down in my bag. Not that one. That's the one that went on TV, which is story of my life. 
to see if I've got a spare tape pen. Hopefully I have. You know, I've got hundreds of tape pens. Just one second. This is my bag of goodies for telly, as you all know. Goes everywhere with me. So... Lots of tape pens, can't find one, typical hey. Don't worry, let's see if this one will work for us. So all I'm gonna do is hopefully, wrong way, there we go, is pop some tape behind here. And don't worry about the uh, ugliness of the tape on here, on the back side, because I'm, I'm gonna show you a way to hide that, okay? So I'm just gonna pop this acetate right up to that edge. This acetate is the same size as the front of this piece of card so i'm just going to hold it in place when i'm happy i've got it in place i'm just going to fold my artwork over again be careful of your paws and you get this effect can we see let me just show you that effect there we go so you have the acetate can we see that there can you see what's going on give it a good old push down and then our second part i'm going to pop some tape on this part Is that the same question, or is that one from earlier what I've answered? Basically, the white embossing powder is Thirsty Brushes white embossing powder, the best ever, <laughs> um, and it is available on the website. So I'm just going to give this a real good score line with my tool or my finger, whatever I've got going on, pen. And then you'll be able to see what I mean. So we're all ready. Can you see here? So our card will stand up because we've got that flat stability on the base. So as long as you keep it even across the base, you are really good to go. So you can see it's like uh, an illusion, isn't it, on there? So you'll, when you decorate the inside of this, it would look equally as beautiful, wouldn't it? What size is the card you're using? It's eight inches tall and five inches wide. <laughs> right, so let's elevate this a little bit more. So ahead of time, I have already heat embossed a wh white on white here and coloured. And I was going to freehand paint this one and stick it on the top. But I actually like where my card's going at the moment. So I might save that for another card. But what we do need to do is... We need to add our lovely sentiment. So I'm going to use the beautiful, which is a large beautiful from that set. And I'm just going to grab some black card here. We're going to do our white embossed sentiment on there. I'm just popping the card into the Eureka here. Anti-static as always, so I get a nice finish. Where did I just put that stamp? There we go. Pop it up here. I'm going to fussy cut, actually. I'm going to make it um, not square today, something different. So, sticky ink pad. It's stamped fine as that one. So, we're just going to use white again. And this is quite a sketchy one, so if you think, oh, it hasn't stamped, it's not. It's quite a sketchy, artful one. Come see that there. It's an arty one. So don't worry about that. So let's just pop this back in here. Just going to heat set this one. So the stamp is called... B U and it's in FBL on our Facebook page. I'm just heat setting this one here in white. And I am going to attempt quick fussy cut so I'm just going to leave a small border around 
normally you could obviously you can just cut it out as a square if you want to you do not have to do what I'm doing but for a little bit of difference I am going to fussy cut <gasps> I can't breathe why can't you breathe the anticipation is killing me have I missed something have I missed something guys story of my life hey so I'm just fussy cutting around here. I'm not going into all of the detail. I'm just following where my scissors are allowing to go without the, the pain of in and out of the words. Because I still think it looks quite effective, even if it's not, you know, perfect. I am just going to go around that tea because it's not difficult to do it, so I am going to do it. Just get rid of any harsh lines where you're thinking, well, it looks a bit ugly. Sorry, I'm just tidying it up a bit. There we go. So not too bad there. Can we see there? There we go. So not too bad. So it's an alternative. If you don't have the dies, you can sometimes fussy cut them out. So obviously this can look like it's floating now. Can you just see that there? So it looks like it's floating now. You can connect it, not connect it. It's entirely up to you there. So... On the inside, can you see how this is flapping a little bit? It does need stabilising a little bit, which is fine. You could put two pieces of acetate together. So on the back here, can we see here? You can't really see the tape. You can't even see it. Just see that there. But if you wanted to, do this technique twice and then stick the ones you fussy cut on the back and it will be absolutely fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some beautiful detail on the inside here so I'm just gonna try and stabilize it I mean, it is a bit too floppy for my liking and I do have more acetate somewhere let's have a look I do have some more acetate I would like to stabilize it she says let's just have a look and you know what it is as well the acetate because it's clear, you can, <laughs> you can never see it or find it, can you? It's here, look, smack bang in front of my eyes, I can't see it. So look, if you get another piece and stick another piece behind, so don't basically be tight with your um, acetate and double it. double it up it wouldn't be as floppy if that makes any sense at all I will do it for the photo though so you get the idea so let's just stick this one on here and again I'll use my tape runner so you can't see it on the other side just be mindful of that Like so, it doesn't look much at the moment. It's not until you do something with the inside and stand it away, it looks like an illusion card. I'm going to just do some ink on the inside though. So just open the card. Can you see? Can you see what I mean about the flimsy? So maybe put definitely put two together. Okay, thicker. Yeah. You can buy different weights. That's right. You can buy different weights. So if you want a thicker one. Plastic packaging as well, you get the plastic packaging sometimes that um, would stabilise. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop over to my um, guillotine quickly and just cut if that's okay. So I'm just going to grab some white card here and I'm going to grab some black and this is where you, the inside is going to pop. I just won't be a second ladies and gents. One second. So you can, hopefully you can still hear me walking around. And you are going to be able to um, <laughs> see um, our studio number two at some point when we do our um, release of the lovely handmade cards that you've all been making me. So I'm just popping this card into the guillotine. I haven't disappeared anywhere. I'm just quickly scoring it with my finger. 
two cuts i'm doing a black a black mat for the inside and a lovely white one too so this is our black one done my studio sounds huge now doesn't it it's not that big really so the second one so black and white There we go. So I'll bring my card back. Here we go. There we go. Sorry about that. So I have a black um, layer and our lovely white layer. So this is going to give us our mat and layer for the inside of our card. This is going to make the center of the card pop. Okay, so let's just set this aside. So in the center here, we have our lovely black part here, look. Let's go ahead and glue this one down. If you haven't got any acetate, maybe try vellum, a thicker vellum, but maybe double it up so you do get that um, stability. So I'll just pop that black on there. I'm just going to set that aside for a second. So it looks nice with the black on behind as well, doesn't it? It's not until you pop something behind, it looks really, really lovely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this piece of white cardstock in here, like so. And I'm just going to grab the colours that we used. I am going to definitely stabilise my card because if it goes to a lucky winner, I don't want it to flop on your side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Now you could heat emboss again onto here, and then, um, so you've got it replicated on the inside too, but I'm just going to create a hue from one corner. So I'm going to go, make sure my brush is clean. So I'm just going to go red, or coral as it says on the, so this is what's going to bring it all together. And if you've got a beautiful sentiment to stamp in the center, that would look really, really cool too. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just using the four colours we've got to um, decorate the four corners. So this time I'm going opposite corner in orange. So a little bit of coral into some orange here. Let's clean my brush. And then we've got the lovely yellow, so let's pop the yellow up here. And then let's pop some of the green in the other corner. So you can see how you're bringing it all together, all your artwork. So we've got sort of like a hue going around there. And I'm just going to jump out my chair again. Sorry to be an absolute pain in the bum. I'm just going to jump out my chair again and grab a sentiment, if that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> you don't want to see me wandering all over studio, I'm certain of it. So I'm just going to grab a lovely sentiment from our lovely, my lovely stash that goes on in this corner here. Here we go. My favourites are always to hand. So I'm using the lovely uh, stamps Red Rose. A lot of you have got this one. And I'm using If Flowers Can Teach Themselves to Bloom After Winter Then So Can You. And it's this lovely sentiment down here. Just going to pop it straight into my Eureka, take beautiful away, pop this one inside. So basically you've created a card that you can see through the front of straight to the sentiment because of the acetate. 
and we'll just stamp this one out in black, okay, so you can actually see it. You must, must, must though, if I've anything from today, stabilise that acetate, so double it up, make it thick. And that's what I'm going to do after I've done this. So there we go, so you've got your lovely sentiment in the centre there. Let's take this aside. Let's get a bit of a tidy station going on, just move it all over. I'm going to save this one, I might watercolour this one and just mount this onto a card because that'll be quite pretty. Make sure my paws are clean. And then what we're going to do is... We will mount this onto the inside of our lovely card. You could pop some, if you've got a nice butterfly, you could do a floating butterfly in the centre. So it looks like the butterfly's floating. Just give that a second to grab. Stay away from that sentiment because it will smudge. And I'll just stand this one up for you, get a tidy station. Hopefully it's stuck in place. Just stabilise that acetate. There we go. So something, it is different today, isn't it? Like that sentiment looks like it's floating, doesn't it? So if you haven't got that stamp, you might have another stamp that it'll work with. Just remember to stabilise the acetate, okay? Because you don't want a floppy front, which is what mine's got, but it will not have in five minutes. Um, I will take... Um, time to reinforce it and to take a picture it on there so um it looks like you like that one hopefully you will give it a go and we will see you popping your makes in the eureka fan page it doesn't have to be with this specific stamp if you think about the trees you know the trees we did you are my adventure one of our first ones which i loved the trees tailed off on some acetate would look absolutely gorgeous so if you haven't got this stamp and you maybe purchased some from the beginning You'll have everything you need to create something amazing. I'm absolutely certain of it. So, um, stunning, love it. Definitely don't want a floppy front. <laughs> Me neither. So, yeah. So, I will see you all tomorrow at 3, 1, don't forget, 1 p.m. using this lovely stamp set for the last time. Then we move on next week to the lovely hearts. So, I will see you all later. Have a lovely evening, whatever you're doing. Take care, everyone. Bye.